Ooh, it's your boy, Ryan the Dreamer, and welcome to another part of the Sims 4 Bachelor Challenge. Subscribe to me on Porn. So we're starting off this part because Holden came back from the dead, and he sent a little texty wexy to Violet. It said, hey, I heard you and Paolo Rock are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Well, I think that that's sweet. See, now that Holden's out of the house, I have a oh, soft spot for him. <laughs> it actually made me a little bit that sad. Because I feel like he's trying to get back on Violet's good side, you know? I don't know. It just, the whole situation. So today, we have, so we had eliminations in the last part. We said bye girl, flower girl to no one, because all three contestants stayed. So today, we do have a black and white bash planned for 2 o'clock on the dot. And, um... It's going to be really cool. We're going to meet... Okay, let's see what this is. Oh my gosh. Thorn... What? This does not track for Thorn at all. We've heard that you're quite the brainiac Paolo. Okay, from who? You'd make a great tech guru. What does Thorn know about technology? Isn't he supposed to be an entertainer? With your reputation and skills, you could become an esports gamer or entrepreneur in no time. It just doesn't make any sense. We're going to decline the job offer because Thorne is lost. The girl is confused. As I was saying, we do have a black and white bash at 2 o'clock today. It's going to be really cool and fun. We're going to be able to meet Paolo's family that I made yesterday and some of his friends. I believe it'll be his roommates that he lived with in Windenburg, which should be interesting as well. Because little Paolo is on a different path than those three, so we'll see what happens with that. Um... So it's going to be really calm until then, so probably what we're going to do is just come back when the Black and White Bash starts, and we're going to try to get goals, and it'll be a really, really fun time. So I will see you guys there. <laughs> Ken is so talented. Just look at him. Well, let's get it. She's doing this stuff in heels. They're both talented. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What we just watched was art. And now Holden wants to come over to hang out. What is wrong? Holden, stop. You're making me sad now. Uh. So our black and white bash just started. I don't really care for these clothes. I had thought about going in and choosing their own clothes. Like putting them in something that I... See, now Ken, Ken chose right. He always chooses right. I wanted to... Okay. Oh, Lord. All right. Give me... Ooh. Wow. Give me one second. I want to take all of these sims into create a sim and give them their own outfits because what the game chose for them is honestly an abomination. It's an abomination. This is better. This is much better. Let's look at everyone. See, now <laughs> y'all know I need to take this moment to shout out my girl Claire. Look at what she did. Her hair is different. You know, she got makeup on. She's she's in those big old red lips. You know, she's She's someone who who is a sim. And then here's Paolo. Of course he has to be in the loudest outfit because the show is about him. And then we have Kenneth who's also rocking it as well. So I don't know why, but I'm actually like really nervous to film this part. I guess because, oh, this is his mom. I guess because um, I just always, parties don't really seem to go well for me when I film all the parts and then being like eight minutes long and I feel like not a lot happens, but it's fine. We're, we're doing what we can. Why is she wearing this? She's a caterer and she dressed up like she came to impress. Girl, goodbye. Oh my gosh, is this this girl telling jokes again? Miss Martin, play a piano. That's why you're here. Well, listen, let's meet these people over here. So this is Jade Rosa. We've all seen her in the game before. Oh, no, she did not. Did she just steal that? This is why Paolo does not associate himself with these hooligans anymore. She whole life stole a whole counter. Where did she put it at? How deep are these pockets, girl? His mom refuses to move. She's not leaving that spot. She's guarding that refrigerator with her life. This is Paolo's little sister, Belinda. And this is Paolo rocking a really nice and shiny outfit because it's Paolo. And this is his mother, Elizabeth, who he's chatting with right now. His brother is around here somewhere. Oh, right here. This is his brother, Enrique. Let's just gaze upon him. And then, I don't know where his dad is. I guess he hasn't come in yet. This is Marcus Flex, so his roommate who's pissed off. I don't know why, maybe because Paolo cut him off, as he should have. This is Eva, of course, you know her from Windenburg as well, serving curves. This is Ken, we know him. Claire's out here for some reason, not in her outfit. I don't know what that's about. Claire, girl, you're about to get, you're about to get the axe. You're about to get axed, sis. Quit it and come back inside the house. Why are you doing this? She's never once supposed to drink a day in her life. She has not. So let's get these Sims to, oh my gosh. I'm really just about to go on a tirade. I am. 
Everyone needs to stay dressed. My goodness. So this is Carmelo. This is Paolo's dad. Uh, so now we're just going to get the people to mingle with the, with the actual guests and see how that goes. So I want Claire to chat with Belinda. I think that that would be a nice little relationship that they can have. And let's see. Ken. I think Ken would try to impress the dad. Where is our mister at? Kenneth. Oh my gosh. Everyone leave this counter alone. Alice Martin is over here giving the performance of her life and no one cares it, because if she was just going to play piano Then she should have I don't understand why she's not playing the piano We're going to have Ken introduce himself to Carmelo over here And then that leaves Violet trying to woo the mom and she's right here Miss Elizabeth And Paolo's out of his outfit as well. What's happening? Like what's really going on? All right, so we're trying to get gold here, which is obviously a huge struggle. So let's have him Discuss black and white things with the guests. So let's do that. Let's discuss Well, where are the black and white things that we can talk about? Discuss lack of newspapers. That's a black and white thing. We can discuss that with his brother uh, Let's talk with Marcus Let's discuss. We need to discuss ten black and white things. That's a lot of black and white things. Compliment his color choices Okay, we did something. I don't know what we did, but we did it uh, Bake black and white cookies ourselves then let's talk with Belinda. I do love Belinda. I need to zoom in on her face so y'all can see how beautiful she is. Like, when I think I made her with genetics, she's probably the prettiest sim that I have made with genetics before. Okay, and she farted as soon as I said that. She just has such, like, a little simple, natural look. I feel like, I feel like if she had pretz pretzels, I feel like if she had freckles, she would be, like, absolutely stunning. But I think she's already beautiful right now. So we love, we love Belinda. We stand her with our entire heart, let me tell you. Let's talk to Eva. I really do love Eva's curve. She's she's given us everything that we need. We didn't ask for it. We didn't anticipate it, but she said, listen, this is simply what's about to happen here. Now listen, I know good and dang well. Oh, okay. Well, I guess penguins are not her forte. You know, Eva's a little bit pissy as well because Paolo, like I said, does not associate with his Winterbird people again, but he was forced to bring them along and he's not happy about it at all. He's not happy about it. I do love his family though. His brother and sister, I feel like, are just super amazing. Well, let's see where Claire went. She's banning the station. I don't know why she is. Oh my gosh, the party's almost over. This is so bad. I cook a great quality food. We don't have the time. This is so bad. We didn't get gold. Okay. And we didn't mingle once with the family. See, this is why I hate these parts where I have to do a party because I felt like it just, I felt like it was not good. Um, okay, I'm freaking out here. <laughs> we cannot discuss six more things in the 27 minutes that we have. Okay, let's get Claire over here and see if we can. Oh my gosh, she hasn't even met the mom yet. Oh, this is terrible. Well, we got silver. Nice party. You'll find a black and white reward in your household inventory. Was it a nice party? Because I got stressed and Jasminder just sneezed and everything that she made for us. We don't know what diseases she has and she's just trying to give them to everyone in the whole freaking house. At least Claire had a chance to chat with Elizabeth. And even though they don't have much of a friendship, like much of a relationship, Elizabeth seems to really like Claire because she won't shut up and go home. So I think that's that's the good news. What are they talking about? I'm interested. As for Swedish massage, um, okay, Claire, don't do that. <laughs> I feel like at some point I'm going to have to stop defending the choices that she makes because there is no reason on earth why she should have asked Paolo's mom, whom she just met. Did she swipe something too? Oh my gosh, Paolo was raised by a bunch of thieves and hooligans. Elizabeth, girl. Oh, she has a past. Alice, girl, the party's over. You need a shoe fly. Don't bother Russ anymore. What is, what is the drink is this? He didn't like it. Juice on the rocks. By who? By Marcus Flex. He probably poisoned it because he's jealous and upset. Well, listen, he wants to hug someone, so let's hug Ken. They're still having fun here after the party. I think that that's fine. We can still have them have fun out here. So they're out here kind of chatting about the party and see what happens. They're like, there was just a lot of people here and literally did not really get to make a slash with anyone. Claire's like, well, I think the mom likes me. So I think that that was good. And Violet's like, well, I was sitting with the siblings and they seem to be really chill. Just going back and forth with Paolo about whatever. They seem like really nice people. And Ken's like, well, I mean, I said hi to the dad. <laughs> That was it. I'm not sure how he felt about me. But listen, I'll t ooh, 
But listen, I will tell you how I feel about um, this little part of Ken's hair. This part that goes up. I love it. I stand. I think that's the part that I stand most about Ken. It's this Pacific piece of hair. Now, I was high key overwhelmed at that party. <laughs> it's just, it was so terrifying to me. But he wouldn't have a deep conversation with her, and I do not know why. Like, I don't know what they're going to be talking about, what they're discussing. I guess he just wants more than anything, just like kind of a read on the family. Like, how, how do you think things went? Like, first impressions of everyone that you chatted with. He wants to kiss somebody. Now, he did come out to talk to Claire by himself. Like, I did not get him to do this. Um, and so he, because he does want to kiss him, we are going to let that happen. Um, but she's getting tired, though. She is so sleepy. She exhausted herself today trying to impress this little family or whatever. And look at the suit that she's wearing. We love it. His whole hand is just wrapped around her head. Like, that is, how, how big is his hand? Okay, that's what we were trying to figure out, Paolo. What you working with? So, uh, so, that, so I guess that's the end of this part. This was so weird to me. I, but I refused to record it again, so this is what you get. It was, it was a party. We did not get gold, but we, it, 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 it was quite the party. He wants to compliment Violet, so we're gonna wake her up so we can make that happen for him. So listen, um... I am starting to kind of plan for more things for the channel. We are winding to the end of this challenge, if you couldn't tell, by only having three people in this household. Um, so we do have a free day tomorrow, which I'm excited about. Um, Green97 on a couple of videos ago said that it would be cool if we could like meet some families or have the uh, contestants kind of compete for a date. And so we are going to, we did meet the family today. We met Paolo's family today. The re remainder of The Bachelor and Supernaturals will be pre-filmed just to give me time to plan and prepare before I go in to film the new content that's going to be starting next month. So just keep a, 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 keep that in mind. I will still like ask questions and read your comments and everything, but if you suggest something that doesn't make it or doesn't come in the video, I'm not ignoring you. I just had a pre-film. With all that being said, if you enjoyed this part, please like and comment. At least some uh, comments. <laughs> I don't know why where I was going with that. Let's discuss the party. How stressed you were to watch it. How underwhelming it must have been since no one talked to anyone about anything. Uh, let's just chat. Let's interact a little bit. And I will see. In okay, it's best again. I'm almost there and started my company, but my pockets are running dry on some millions. Now listen, girl. You really, because we gave you money the first time just to prove to you that we are rolling in the deep. Think you can give me an extra thousand to get to the finish line? Give the best a thousand simoleons. That has no personality to it. Say, <laughs> they're doing this again. Sorry, I can't afford that right now. No one good and daggone well we can. Call them out for never paying you back. Yes. What? I don't remember that. Fine, here's a few thousand simoleons for the trouble I caused. I won't call anymore. And you better not. What is wrong with her? Okay. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next part. PC Weezies. Oh, that was embarrassing. I'm just... Bye, y'all. <laughs>